Today's episode is Ask the Medical Assistant. And part of my audience is one of the therapy bears. The other one's still hibernating. And you get a chance to spend some time with me here after this. This is just an example of some of the things we use for sound frequency recovery. I would buy the whole CD pack because that's how effective it is. And we're talking about sleep hygiene after this. I brought my therapy bear in. Um, so when we deal with clients and patients that have, you know, loss or medical issues, it's oftentimes a lot easier to bring a therapy bear in and get a chance to meet my therapy bear. And we'll be back for part two after this. And uh, the other therapy bears in hibernation, so it makes sense. Um, a lot of the sensitive issues that we were just addressing can be treated with other forms of therapies. That's why I say consult a doctor because a lot of times it's not a quick fix, but it's a remedy like this. It's by Michael S. Terrell. Buy the whole CD pack because it's loaded with sound frequencies and that. It's mine. I've used mine a lot. It's at 852 hertz, um, 417 hertz. That's for low energy and low frequency. Like people with depression, you know, this is a very good way to deal with, I mean, some of you who have been already diagnosed, you, you get what's going on. Um, some other things that I brought along that might help, and I hope that it does, um, is treating a condition you can prevent injuries. Let's just go down the road of um, frostbite. People don't realize it, but you lose sensation. I got this. These are toe warmers, and I bought them over at Dollar General. And also, if you can't see it now, it's a little, but it's, um, are you legal to drive? Like, it's a, if you're drinking, you should take one of these before you get in the car. Um, just another way to support my nephew. Um, when people are drinking and driving, injuries are an obvious reality. My nephew was paralyzed by a drunk driver. So this becomes essential. Nowadays, like with his paralysis, he has the inability to feel, have total 100% sensation. So. These toe warmers become very essential. And that's about it for our segment. We've pretty much addressed most of the issues. I wanted to let you all know that these are ways to prevent injuries. Like if you take that simple test before you get in that car and you know you're drinking, you're doing a lot for the people around yourself and you yourself the driver there are very preventable diseases a lot of them uh, like the things that are going on you know the chronic illness those are things that need to be treated by a doctor that's why I'm saying um, if you don't believe what your doctor is telling you get a second opinion that's about it thank you for listening ask the assistant and consult your doctor Today's episode is Ask the Medical Assistant. Okay, so we're going to have a segment about some nutraceuticals that a lot of people are concerned about the force inoculations, and I agree. I would not take any immunizations. I would consult a, a second opinion if you have any concerns too. Um, nutraceuticals, what we have been talking about is how to deal with Chronic illness. Now, you you if you're dealing with chronic illness, then you will know that a good source of potassium, bananas, quick source, same thing with iodine. I would recommend, you know, if you like tuna, that's a quick source of iodine. Get get some iodine pills, uh, water pills. 
filter your water. Uh, things you can do to make life easier, your health benefits, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, um, things that are missing out of my, you know, cabinet as we speak. Um, I'm going to bring out all the products that I use and I try to get into really a habit of doing this, but uh, colloidal silver. If you don't have it, order it. It's very cheap right now on InfoWars. I buy a lot of my products on InfoWars, by the way. Um, from Leaky Gut, that big conversation that everybody needs to have about the gut. How a Leaky Gut can affect your overall wellness. Well, gut fusion. Uh, try to stay away from tomatoes, acidic food. If you're having problems, like, you, you know, you know what you have to be concerned about. Um, bone broth for men. I hear a lot of good stuff about it, and it's made in a chocolate form, so it tastes good. Uh, there are things that you can just do to make your life easier. Okay, let's see. What else was I? Well, there's a bunch of other things, but it's a lot easier to treat a condition when you're aware of what the symptoms are. So, a lot of times you're treating just the symptoms, okay? But what you want to do is get to what's really going on. That's why I like these products because it not just treats the symptoms, but it, 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 you're dealing with the problems and you're going to, you don't use the other object is to be asymptomatic. You don't want to have these symptoms like for the uh, infections, uh, to get the infections under control, this. Like, if I was going to a third world country, I would want a lot of this and a lot of oats and dehydrated food. Dehydrated fruit, more or less. Like, if I'm going, you know, if I was going to treat, you know, a third world country with their problem. Okay, lastly, sleep. Um, a good, healthy sleep regimen. You know, if you're um, hanging around today on a Sunday... This is a day to like journal, maybe do some, you know, exercises, stretching, drinking a lot of water. I had a Charlie horse. I wasn't drinking a lot. I was drinking a lot of coffee. So I know that this, you know, these things have a way of catching up. Uh, natural gummies. The 10 milligrams, just one. That's all you need. You don't need to go you know, overboard. But just by... Living life in moderation. Once you get the stress and get those symptoms down. And we have a sundown service on Sunday night. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you guys have seen my blog, uh, the Health and Wellness TV. It's not much of a TV, but it's close to that. Uh, <laughs> but that's what we do. I mean, we're trying to get healthy. And trying to live a healthy life and we want to continue to have longevity that's the point a lot of these are short-term solutions like people want long-term answers but you know what you're still you're still doing something about it pain has a way of motivating people you know what i mean so it could force people to make decisions like about weight loss like if you're tired of being sick and tired you're going to start wanting to do some homework. So I would say there's a lot of good research. I like InfoWars. I like a lot of their products. Um, I buy a lot of uh, natural alternatives. I also have oil lamp right there. Um, but uh, there are things you can do to make your life a little more simple. So you don't have to be stressed out, upset, burned out, and depressed. There are things you can do. The point is... If you're feeling like that, it's because you're not doing something about it. And you got to treat the condition. So, if anything, if you feel like you can't trust your doctor, then get a second opinion. It's that simple. As a medical assistant in back office, I can't give you guys advice. I can't tell you what to do. I would say, if your doctor isn't treating your condition, it's time to get a new doctor. Ask the assistant and consult your doctor.